Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. Today we are talking about redeeming love, which I haven't been able to get out of my head since watching it this afternoon. If I look incredibly tired, it's one o'clock in the morning, I'm exhausted, it's been a full, long day. But this was a movie that has challenged me in such a way and I hadn't been able to get it out of my head. I've been thinking about it, I've been processing it, I've been reflecting it. It's an incredibly deep, insightful film that has a lot more to say than you might just think from surface level. So let me give you a brief breakdown of what the story actually entails. We follow Michael and Angel who are the two protagonists of the film. Michael is a Bible believing Christian who just wants to find a wife and he believes that God has called him to marry this young woman, Angel. Angel is a prostitute, not just any prostitute, but the most successful prostitute in the town. But Michael falls in love with her instantly, believes that God's calling for his life is to pursue her, to marry her, and that's what he does. And the movie is ultimately about their relationship going from strangers to whatever. That's, that's the story, and I'm not going to give that away. But Flip, it's a powerful powerful, powerful movie. And I think what makes this movie so incredibly powerful is the themes it tackles. And I think that's what I'm going to break down for majority of this review. Yes, the performances were great. I loved all of them. I feel like at times the accents were a little bit weird, but besides that, you can ignore that because the actual crux and story of this film is so incredibly powerful and entertaining. The performances across the board, great um, score really helped amplify the, the, the story and the emotions on screen. But ultimately, this was an incredibly powerful, powerful film and tackled a wide variety of themes from insecurities, love, passion, um, self-harm, not an actual like physical harm, but putting yourself in situations almost as punishment for yourself, the ability of forgiving not just others, but forgiving yourself. Um, Incredible stuff, incredible stuff. And I wanna break a few of those down right now, but primarily I just wanna focus on the relationship between Michael and Angel. This was a relationship where we had this man, this Bible-believing Christian, pursuing this woman who at first rejected him and then continued to reject him. And there were a variety of reasons for that. And I think self-worth was a big one. How do we value ourselves and what do we believe we deserve. That's something that's tackled a lot in this film. And it's incredibly heartbreaking to see Angel's growth because her development is not nice and easy. It's, it's hard, it's difficult. And what this film does so well is actually illustrate to us that people who are broken aren't fixed overnight. Yes, God works in miraculous ways and he saves people. But even once a non-believer becomes a believer, once we become saved, once we've freed ourselves from that shackle, the shackles of sin, we still have to go through those, those steps of healing. And that can take a while. It's not instantaneous. And we can look at that in regards to addictions as well. There's so much that happens. And this, this film understands that. It knows that we aren't going to be fixed straight away. And in fact, we, 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 we serve an, an awesome God who loves us and will always forgive us. But but can we forgive ourselves for the actions that we've taken? And I know that's something I struggle with a lot is, is self-forgiveness. Can I accept the things I've done? Can I find value in myself again and move forward? This film also definitely doesn't step away from the fact that sex work is a real thing and it's a dangerous career to be a part of. And lots of women that find themselves in the sex work industry are not there through choice. Those are roles that are thrust upon them or they're forced into. And it's incredibly dangerous and it really doesn't help them with their self-image. I remember going on quite a few um, outreach programs and, and we did a lot of work with sex workers and it's heartbreaking because so many of them don't value themselves. They're, just, they're doing this to provide for them, fa their families, not even to provide for themselves. If it was up to them, they just wouldn't exist anymore. They, 
many of them have suicidal thoughts and tendencies and it's heartbreaking and we can see a lot of that in this film. These are women that are just trying to live and this is the only way they can see themselves making any money whatsoever. And so then faith also becomes a massive role in that because you are trying to either provide for yourself or for your family, but then you're doing work that doesn't fulfill you and in fact breaks you down, degrades you. So it's almost a toxic cycle of I need to live, I need to do this to survive, this makes me not want to live. And it, that's, that's how you spiral. And so there's so many things that are broken down in this film. And another one is just love and understanding from one partner to another. Michael, in many ways, lived a, a rather privileged life. The exact opposite of Angel. Yet he understands this. He knows that Angel is broken. And so he's willing to be patient with her. He's willing to help her when she requires it. That is true love right there taking somebody as they are and understanding that they don't need to be the person to fix them, but they can be there to encourage that person. So I know I've gone on a massive ramble just talking about the themes and to be 100% honest, going through my list of things, I haven't even touched everything I wanted to talk about. And I feel like I've been talking for seven minutes already. We'll see how the editing goes, but I'm actually probably going to have to stop talking about the themes right now. But I haven't stopped thinking about this film at all. I've been challenged from this film and um, I think a lot about myself and my fiance and the relationship that we have together and how we can move forward once we've gotten married which is which is soon which is really really exciting um, and I cried in this movie <laughs> and it was hilarious because I was actually sitting right next to uh, a journalist from you magazine and I was trying my best I was like don't don't let us see you cry don't let us see you cry this is my toxic masculinity right here. Don't cry. Don't cry. And um, I went not like driving home. I just put on uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight by Elton John. And I was just singing it. And I was just feeling happy. And I missed my fiance. And I called her. This movie just almost like restoked the fires of passion for me. Um, not that I was never not passionate. And I think in many ways Danny feels I'm too passionate at times in regards to my love for her. But this was just a film that really pumped me up and, and, and inspired me. But yes, guys, this is definitely not a perfect movie. I know I've gone on for a little bit. And I, I won't lie, I almost just started crying again. Like this movie really did hit me deep. Um, but this movie isn't perfect. There's a few things that really, really stood out to me. There were just a lot of things that didn't really work out. And I don't want to get into them now because it's past the 15 minute mark. So technically it is into spoiler territory. But there's one very specific thing that happens. I'm like, in the real world, that wouldn't have happened. It just, it's, it's legally not allowed. Even back in those days, that legally wasn't allowed. Um, so yeah, this wasn't a perfect movie. And in fact, I feel like at the beginning of the film, I think Michael might come off like as a simp, for, for lack of a better word. He's, he's far too simpy. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a better way to, to put that. And Angel is very unlikable, but that's part of her character development. And the both of them develop as characters because I think a lot of people might feel that Michael's development is, is almost non-existent. It's, it's very linear. He's always just this dead fast man who wants to do what he believes is right. And um, it's not the case. He goes through quite a bit of development as well, although it's not as clear cut as Angel's is. And then this film does also tackle God and his role in our everyday lives. And it's not a very heavy fisted. This is, it's a rather subtle message. And a big question that's posed throughout this whole movie is why do bad things happen to good people? And that's a very serious question that we as Christians have to ask ourselves and we have to come up with an answer um, in our own theological understanding of the Bible and how God works. So this is a great film to break down that theme as well because in my honest opinion, this film does a great job of showing how God's hands work subtly in everyday situations because even though there was a lot of evil that takes place in this movie you can see by the end of the movie how everything is done to give glory back to God and that's the awesome thing at the end of the day is giving glory to God but guys thank you so 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 much for watching this video you guys are the best you are awesome if you haven't yet please give this video a like and I hope to see you again in another video oh subscribe I don't know if I said subscribe so subscribe as well and I hope to see you guys again in another video mm -hmm.